as board members of Farm Friends who are very aware of this project and support the project, solutions that might help avoid more regulations. Councilmember Crawford. Yeah, the reason I moved it is we received a list uh, per Councilmember Knudsen's request partway into the meeting. We received a list of who was on the uh, review board, and the list uh, was probably the majority of them were government agency members, uh, but uh, when it came to the other members, there was a few farm farmer names on there, but not very many. I think uh, total there's in the teens, uh, 13 or 15 or something members, and, and I could identify maybe a, a, just a few farm members. In the meantime, the two interesting names were on there as citizen members, uh, two people that are um, you know, uh, constantly litigating with the county and and uh, uh, appealing to the Growth Management Hearings Board and and uh, uh, conducting themselves in a way that I don't think makes it appropriate for them to be on a review committee of uh, agricultural land policy uh, because they're working against the county. You know, if they had a track record of of working with the county and, and supporting what the the county council's goals were, I could understand that. But but they're they're against the grain of what the county's been attempting to do and have cost the county a, an absolute well, a fortune in the in the range of hundreds of thousands of dollars in litigation. Uh, it's it's not right that they should be there uh, when our farmers on a policy, we're talking about creating incentives uh, for um, uh, agricultural environmental protection on, on ag lands, that they should be sitting there on a committee trying to determine what that is, particularly when the committee is so underrepresented, at least at face value, by people who will be most impacted by this, and that is the large acreage farmers. So the motion is not to stop the process. I, I think the merits of what we were presented today uh, is a good process. I like the idea of government uh, creating incentives to do the right thing rather than uh, standing there with the long arm of the enforcement uh, working on the punishment end of stuff. But uh, to, to make that program workable, there is little doubt in my mind it's going to need the participation of folks that uh, are, are, will be impacted and those folks uh, need strong representation there. So I'm simply asking that the majority of the people, and, and we may be very close to that, I don't know, but I just want to ensure, uh, not just say, well, we're close. I want to ensure that the majority of, of folks in this review group are, in fact, large acreage uh, landowners that would potentially be impacted and or utilize this program. I have a question. Um, how did the review group get selected? Did that come up this we morning? Don't know yet. The, the, the basic answer, and I, I apologize if I'm paraphrasing too much, was anybody who said they would attend. And we don't, but we don't know who was invited. Yeah, we didn't even see who the mailing list went out to that people found out about it. Was it selected by the contractor or by the county? I, I don't think it was even a selection. I think people responded, and to all the people that responded, they said, here's the first meeting, and here you go. Um, I, I do have concerns, and I think it was brought up today, that a lot of folks that could be impacted by this aren't even aware it exists. So, you know, the real question would be, um, you know, if, 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 if there are, well, again, to me, if you have a majority of folks that, that know, hey, yeah, that works, and no, that definitely wouldn't work. I think the group could take on a very positive direction in, in terms of coming up with workable ideas as opposed to theoretical ideas. We're talking about a lot of that natural resource trading stuff and a whole bunch of stuff like that that I think uh, some ground truth reality of the people that work, that work the land, particularly in the northern part of the county, uh, need to be at the table to discuss that. Okay. Councilmember Brenner and then Weimer. Well, I was very concerned today. I'm still concerned about the review committee. But after receiving this information from Henry Beerlink, I mean, it, it's ironic because the very three large uh, property farmers who Councilmember Crawford was concerned about, uh, Polander, Mayberry, and Bedlington, they're all part of Farm Friends. They are completely kept in the loop through Farm Friends. They don't have the time 
to do it themselves. So they do it, you know, they, Henry works for them. And don't always agree with Henry, but we, I do believe that large property farmers are, a, you know, a number of them are aware of this through farm friends. Um, I don't want to hold it up, so I want to make sure we move on. I'm, I still want to find out who was invited to come to that meeting and how it, how it happened because I'm sort of still in the dark. And I do feel that the review committee is pretty lopsided, but um, I, I also feel that uh, quite a few uh, large property farmers are aware and know what's going on, and I just don't see them getting real involved in any more processes when they have somebody to work for them to do that. I think we have the planning staff coming up. Mark? Good evening, Council. Mark Personius of the Planning Department. Um, so there are 13 members uh, on the committee. They are comprised of both citizens and agency personnel. They are selected uh, specifically for expertise or for interest uh, that uh, crosses the range of the, um, of the project, uh, be it watershed planning and management, invited? be it agricultural uh, interests. So when the project was first put together, the staff uh, solicited uh, through email outreach and through Ag Advisory Committee outreach, through the PDR committee, through Farm Friends, through the Conservation District, solicited folks who want to be interested in this. Um, we know, because Sammy doesn't, doesn't work for the county anymore, uh, her emails we found are locked down, so we're having, trying to open those up so we can find out about them. We do know at least four farmers that were invited, uh, specifically invited to be on the committee that, that declined simply because they didn't have time. So. I assume that happened a lot with a lot of the other property owners as well. So, but as of right now, there's 13 members on that committee, six of which represent the agricultural community. They're not necessarily all farmers, but most of them are, or they, they work for the, um, for a WID up there, or they're farmers, or they're on the AAC, um, or they're on the PDR committee and the AAC. So there's a pretty good representation on there. If there are any members um, that council's aware of that you would like to see on there, we are all ears. And I know we've, we've done the outreach, you know, in the past, and a lot of times, just like it is with the Ag Advisory Committee, it's just, it's a matter of those farmers not having the time to be able to commit to this, because it's a big commitment, so. Councilmember Brenner. Well, I think in the citizen slots, it should be people a little more diverse. I mean, if you're going to have one of those to have somebody a little, from a little bit different perspective, those are completely the same perspective. And it seems like if we're going to have citizen representatives, we should have some balance. I, I agree. I can't speak specifically to the selection of that committee because it happened before I was here, but uh, I agree. Uh, I, would, I would just say that, um, you know, it, it, because it's a project that tries to meld watershed planning and, and, and agricultural management, uh, it, it needs to kind of cover the environmental side as, as well as the, the agency side, um, as well as the public interest side and the ag side. So uh, in that sense, it does need, need to be a fairly broad group, so. My question is kind of unrelated, but if the farm community can't find the time to even find out what the project is about and, and give some input, how do we expect them to voluntarily participate in this when it's all rolled out? So we, we do a lot of outreach. I mean, we do regular, the, the, uh, the uh, consultant team that's running the project does a, a, a regular series of briefings to the Ag Advisory Committee, to the PDR Committee. Farm Friends, Henry does his regular emails to his folks, uh, always talks about the project. Uh, we do outreach through the Conservation District, getting to farmers that way. So there is a regular public outreach strategy that is a part of the, uh, of the, of the, of the project. I'm sure we can always do better, and, uh, and so we're, we're, again, we're all ears on that. So if somebody is listening tonight and they want to apply for a citizen slot, they can still get a citizen slot, or is this a done deal? No, no, we're, we're all ears. We need help okay. on uh, anybody who has particular input or particular confer input on drainage, uh, agricultural uh, drainage concerns, because that's one of the pilot projects that's being worked on in this phase, too. 
Uh, so, but any any agricultural folks uh, that are interested, we you know we'd love well, to. Well, I mean, them. even in the citizens' sure. class too. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Councilmember Weimer. Just a couple things we heard this morning is uh, to your last question about how's the ag committee going to community going to find out about this. What they were really talking to us about this morning was phase two of this project, which actually involves, I think, a couple of ag community members who have signed on to try some of these things to have it measured on their property. So they were trying to get approval to move forward on that portion. The other thing that I think we heard pretty unanimously from the group this morning was they certainly are open to it changing the review committee. My final comment was I just wanted to check on Mr. Crawford's motion because the motion this morning was to put this on hold until this committee yeah. was re whatever. Um, and you said just a few minutes ago you don't want to hold this up. So is your motion a little different this evening than it was this morning? My intent this morning and tonight was that the group not meet again until it is more representative of the large active farming landowners in Whatcom County. And I think so th I said I used the word this morning on hold because I don't know when, what their meeting schedule is. And I think Heather talked about that at the end and they weren't even planning a review committee meeting again for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So the right. projects could continue to move forward. You just don't want the review committee looking at stuff until it gets yes. reassigned. So, so let me rephrase that and clarify from this morning. I would like for the Co review committee portion of the project to be on hold until the committee is reconstituted with a majority membership being uh, large landowners. Councilmember Brenner, would you take a friendly amer uh, amendment? How about with the majority being more diverse? Because you can't force the big farm owner, you know, you can't make them be on the committee. And I don't want it not to, I don't want nothing to happen. I think if we put in some citizen slots with people who have e either been farmers in the past or have farming experience or interests or something, I mean, I think we can still do it. I just don't want to say it's got to be that way because I'm concerned that we might not get big property farmers to uh, make that Get, get to that place that you're talking about. Well, what I suggested this morning was if that were the case, then we would make the committee a little smaller simply to to create a scenario in which the committee is, the majority of the committee is those landowners. So, um, you know, I, I leave that up to the judgment of staff to get there to the majority, but it doesn't necessarily mean we have to go out and find people that don't want to serve. Right. Because you're right, that would be a pointless... Councilmember Knudsen. Um, what about a suggestion where, uh, by instead of uh, uh, large landowners in the uh, pilot project areas, what about there? Most of the farmers on those aren't in those pilot project areas, uh, just landowners in those those project areas, because uh, uh, it might open it up to some more representation. If we do, what because most I, I, most of the committee members on that committee. I don't think are in those uh, pilot project areas. I don't. I don't know uh, the, the 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 two pilot projects in particular are uh, have a, a certain level of privacy Bertrand to them at this point. So um, those, those aren't to be sort of aren't, aren't out in the public yet uh, until they're a little bit further along. But. Um, we can certainly uh, add folks and, and reach out to more folks. Uh, that's we're we're happy to do that. Uh, but again, I would I would ask you since we've already done an initial outreach, if there's any specific folks you have that you're interested in, you think we should have on that committee, just please let us know and let them know. You know, that, that, that'd be helpful. I wasn't sure I understood Bill's suggestion. Well, it just seems like what you've got on for the majority of that committee is you've got a bunch of uh, urban folks. Telling, uh, okay, but what's your suggestion? That some of the landowners from those pilot project areas could be on the committee and qualify as, as would, one of the yeah. representatives that would balance that out a little more. Uh, we can look into that, certainly. Okay, Councilmember Krennan. It's historical, at least my experience has been even my six terms in the legislature when I was on the Ag Committee for my entire tenure in the legislature and then here it, it, working with Whatcom County government 
uh, farmers are busy farming. And all too often, uh, we were, as I say, throughout my entire public service, which spans almost three decades now, it, it's, uh, it's always been a struggle to get farmers to participate in these kinds of activities because they're, they're busy working their farms and they just don't have the time. And I think to a certain extent there's a little distrust of government or uh, I guess I'll, I'll just leave it at that, uh, or maybe a feeling of uh, futility and that their time could be spent uh, doing other things than getting involved in these kind of perceived bureaucratic exercises. Um, and so it's just been historically uh, difficult to, to get farmers to participate in, in any kinds of these, these initiatives. And at least that's been my observation. And so I, you know, I, I think that Councilmember Knutson's suggestion to trying to get some farmers that actually would be, are in the affected areas, would be optimum and desirable, but I think the likelihood of, is, would be a little, a little challenging. But um, I, I think we should. Bill down. Bill should be on it. <laughs> but, but anyway, I'll, I'll just leave it at that, and um, hopefully we'll be able to take a vote on this motion in the near future. Just a side note, I want to alert the audience members that Councilmember Brenner is assigning jobs to people. She's got uh, Councilmember Kremen going down to Olympia every week and eating macaroni and cheese and staying at the Motel 6. She's going to have Councilmember Knutson working on this. We're going to have to find a job for her. <laughs> okay. She's on Wire 1. Yeah, she's planning it. Yeah. She's planning you. Well, she, yeah, that's right. You're going to be on the planning oh, unit. Well, I All would. Right. Okay, any further discussion on the motion, the motion that Councilmember Crawford has made to halt any review committee action until the committee is made up of a majority of large landowners who are farming? Or Bill, people like Bill Knudsen. Or... Yeah. All right, Councilmember Mann? I'm just going to, I'd like to explain why I'm voting against things. So. I think it's a great idea to improve or diversify the membership. I just I think the point's been made that it's sometimes hard to get people on volunteer committees, and if we hold it up until we get a certain percentage one way or the other of a certain demographic, we could hold it up for a long time. So I think we should encourage outreach with the staff or Mr. Knutson or anyone else who wants to be on it. We want you on that board, but I don't want to hold up the work of the committee or the, the whole idea just just based on, you know, that uh, sort of threshold. Councilmember Brenner. Just one last question to Mark, I guess. Um, the review board doesn't, they make their opinions known, but they're not the final decision on right. any of this, right? Right. They're, they're just a sounding board. Uh, they don't vote. Uh, their okay. their uh, participation does not mean that they consent to agree to the project or anything like that, they're there to sound out, sound back to the to the staff okay. and the consultants. Those whatever comes out of that project, uh, those decisions will come ultimately back through you. So, so if as long as we know that it's still open to people being able to be put on there, and um, that they don't make any final decisions, I'm I'm I don't want to stop the pro any progress. Because of my concern about that. Okay. I, yeah, I'm not going to support the motion. Then. That motion. Okay. Uh, any more discussion on the motion? All right. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? No. no. All right. So was it just one to a couple people that were silent? Yeah, two. Were there two yeses? You and Sam. Okay. He made the motion. I barely heard you. All right, so that's two to five fails. Councilmember Crawford and Kirshner in favor. All right, is there any other business? 
Yeah, I would make a motion that we, um, uh, uh, inc I don't know how we would, how I would phrase this, but that we need a, a better balance on that committee, and I don't know. I think we said that. I, you know, I don't, I don't know if we, I need a motion to do it because I think the message is out there. But can you explain the difference between what you're saying now and? What well, I just think that I think by by delegating large Yours landowners. Yours was too specific. Yours was too specific, yeah. and it was going to be too difficult to fill those positions. And I think it was just. Um, I, I just think it would have been uh, uh, difficult at best. To, well, well, to, but but bottom line is that I don't I don't think it needs a motion, but I think staff needs to be well aware that. Um, I was very disappointed when, and I, you know, I, 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 that that resonated with the whole council when we looked at that community yeah. makeup. Yes, and I, I think I, I, I would ask that you not make another motion because. Yeah. I think they got Mr. Persona, I think so you can too. just nod your head. Staff is well aware of the council's concerns. <laughs> that's it, so. we, we, yeah. Yeah, we've made our point. And we spent an hour today talking about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Any and other so business? No other business? All right. Any reports from council members? Council member Weimer? Oh, just a couple of quick things. Um, the, the Lake Whatcom Policy Work Group met on, was it this Monday? Um, and one of the things that's been coming forward for the next year is we're trying to search for a way to make sure that all of our councils are informed of what that group is doing because that group often kind of meets and talks about things and kind of comes to semi-conclusions, but the rest of the councils aren't informed. So uh, you'll see that after the first of the year, some way to report back to the whole council here on what's going on within that committee. Great. And also just wanted to say thank you to council members Knutson and Kirshner for your time. It's been enjoyable. We've agreed on probably 97% of everything that's come in front of us. Okay. Council member Knutson. Um, well, uh, I want to thank you all. It's been uh, made a lot of good friends here and, I'm going to miss staff uh, probably the most. You guys were great. And I don't know if anybody else knows it in the county, but we do have the best staff. I don't know if they're the best paid, but we do have the best staff. And uh, uh, so I'm going to miss you guys. Uh, would like to congratulate the Linden boys football team, won another state championship again, as well as Mount Baker boys. Uh, it seems like we keep, uh, keep on going. And uh, I got to go to... Uh, uh, I got to take the prettiest girl in Whatcom County next to my wife uh, to dinner the other night up at uh, the Shepherds for a Christmas party, Bruce and Cindy Shepherd, and uh, they were wonderful hosts. And I would encourage all council members when they're given the opportunity to um, take advantage of it. And uh, uh, Western folks uh, do a great job of uh, catering a party and taking care of us. So it's been. Enjoyable and uh, uh, tell miss us more about this woman you took. Yeah, yeah well, it was it was my it was my it was my daughter, uh, daughter who I is did. a junior at Western. I mean, I neglected to say that. I'm sorry. Yeah, you said. I had you all. I had you all. all wondering about what was going. I thought you were talking about Cindy Shepard. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. 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 So, so the, let's squash the rumor right there. <laughs> but, no, it was, uh, I got to take my daughter, who is a uh, junior, getting ready to graduate up there and uh, and move on to bigger, better things down at the UW. So, thank you all. Council Member Mann. Okay, well, I, I would like to report that in four years, I have biked or walked to every single council meeting because that was a <laughs> stupid pledge that I made during the campaign the first time around. <laughs> And when it's 10 degrees out or whatever, it's not enjoyable. So I did not make that pledge this time around. But I did make it. I, all four years, I walked or biked to every meeting. So I was proud of that. Um, and on a more serious note, just Bill and Kathy, uh, you probably don't want to drag this out with a lot of goodbyes or and whatnot. But I really appreciated having you here. And... People would ask me all the time, well, you know, the, the council's this or that. And I said, you know, every single person on the Whatcom County Council works hard, has integrity, and loves this community. And, and I've said that a number of times over the years, but it absolutely is true. And you're, you're both living examples of that. And it, it's been 
great, it's been great getting to know you and I've appreciated your work on the council very much, especially uh, Ms. Kirshner as chair. You've done an awesome job for two years and I really want to give you credit for that. Um, and I, I just think this community has been really lucky to have you both and it's been great getting to know you and I, I thank you for your service. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to miss... <laughs> I'm just, I, I laugh when I think about the two of you in a really good way. So I am going to miss you guys. And, um, but maybe I won't miss you. Maybe I'll see you. Who knows? Anyway, I do want to say very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody, um, even people I argue with. So I think, you know, we're very lucky. We live in a wonderful place and... You know, as much as we complain, and I do complain a lot, it could be a lot worse somewhere else. So, Thank you, Councilmember Brenner. Councilmember Kremen. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I'm not going to give any report uh, that deals with the uh, Legislative Steering Committee because I've, I've gone through that a couple of times today. Uh, you know, all the accolades and kudos that have been uh, uh, given to our two departing council members are, are well-deserved and not hyperbole. They, uh, I, I kind of feel the same way that, that council member Mann expressed just a couple of seconds ago in that, you know, I didn't know what to expect when I assumed the position up here with, with the six other council members. I was a, a little apprehensive. I didn't know how I'd be received. But I really do have to say, in spite of the fact that we don't always agree on, on issues, uh, the collegial atmosphere and the, the friendship and the willingness to, to be civil and, you know, just be friends uh, was a pleasant surprise for me. And, and I, I, you know, I, I sincerely mean it when I say I'm going to miss both, both of you on the council, uh, the friendships uh, that we had, especially Council Member Kirshner, because we got to share the, the same office. And uh, I got to, to know uh, Ms. Kirshner very, very well in, you know, through the, the past couple of years. And I'm really going to miss you and, and, and your, your, your talent as a, um, as a chair. I mean, given the limited amount of, of political experience that you've had, I can honestly say, you know, I hope I don't hurt anybody's feelings up here because we've had, you know, I think Carl, you've been a chair before, haven't you? So Carl's been a chair and, and, and uh, Council Member Crawford's been a chair and they've done great jobs, but I, I, I'm serious. You, in my in my opinion, you are the best chair that we that I've ever seen since I've been affiliated with county government, and and I'm talking about all the way back into um, you know the the 70s, 79, when when I was a I used to cover the council meetings as a as a journalist. So uh, your abilities and talents are going to be. Uh, great, greatly missed, and I just wish the both of you, uh, you know, enjoyable futures. There's, I'm sure, I, I don't know whether, I uh, hope that we haven't heard the last of you uh, being involved in, in, in public office or at least in public affairs, and uh, I just wish you, you well in your future endeavors. And uh, I too want to uh, extend my wishes and sentiments for everyone to have a, a very uh, safe and peaceful and uh, meaningful holiday season, uh, both for Christmas and for New Year's, and everyone be, be well, uh, spend time with your friends and your family, and enjoy the season, because that's what it's all about. Thank you. Councilmember Crawford. Well, of course, I want to thank you too, Kathy, for being the second best chair that the county council has ever had. Uh, I think we should vote on it. I appreciate that, Sam. He's going to lose. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> uh, 
but no, I share the same sentiments, of course, uh, that Bill and Kathy are wonderful. I, you know, been there watching them even before, uh, you know, we're from the same political tribe, if people don't know that. And by the way, tribe is Dan McShane's word, and I think it makes a lot of sense in politics. But uh, Bill and Kathy and I are from the same tribe, and, and uh, uh We've gotten to know our tribal fellows pretty well, and, and uh, that was even before they were in office. And I'll tell you, I, I, you know, both of you, I think someone said earlier tonight, you know, when it comes to integrity and uh, transparency and, and uh, just really having this passion and desire to make the Whatcom County the best place for the taxpayers and the citizens and the people that live here, uh, you guys are second to none. So... Thank you very much for everything both of you have done. And uh, I'll also echo the sentiment that was expressed earlier tonight, Bill, that I think when Councilmember Kremen was giving you the plaque that uh, I think the ag community has suffered a real blow, if you want to put it that way, a, a real loss uh, that you're not going to be there because you were our go-to guy on ag. You know, back in the day when Dan McShane was on the council, when it came to a lot of the geologic stuff and the uh, the natural resources and the flood stuff, Dan was our go-to guy, and and you've been our go-to guy on farming. And and uh, you know, politics is a is a funny thing, and and uh, unfortunately, people come and people go, and and it didn't work this time. But I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that you two. We have not heard the last of you. So with that, I'll uh, end my salutation there. And uh, again, Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, it's been a good year for the Whatcom County Council. I think we've accomplished a lot. Uh, there's uh, uh, been difficult times. I, I, I guess I would say that this is not, you know, considering the challenges we had during the recession, uh, you know, we, you know, things aren't rosy, but we're not quite facing the stresses that we did just a few years ago. And uh, the torch was passed from former Executive Kremen to Executive Laos a couple of years ago in terms of leadership in the in the administration. And uh, uh, the, you know, I said earlier that Bruce Roll had big shoes to fill, and John Hutchings uh, did a great job filling them. I told Executive Kremen when he left and, and warned Executive Laos when he came in that uh, there was uh, big shoes to fill there. And, and Jack, you've done it. And, appreciate all you guys do. So uh, I, I'm optimistic about the future of not just Whatcom County in terms of our culture and, and our society, but in terms of Whatcom County government. We've got a strong government here, and uh, we're going to continue to do a good job serving those who uh, uh, pay their taxes and, and vote and uh, participate in county government and want the benefits, uh, the maximum value for the dollars they spend. So uh, Welcome 2014. Let's let's hope it's a good one. Thank you, Sam. Executive House. Well, first, uh, thank you, Councilmember Crawford, for the kind words. I do uh, appreciate that. Uh, and I appreciate all the council members and for the work that we were able to get done together this year. Uh, the council, administration, the community, we came together and uh, we, we advanced a lot of the projects that we felt uh, were to the benefit of the citizens and uh, I'm pleased with the work product uh, that we've accomplished. Specifically to council members Knudsen and Kirshner, I want to say a big thank you. Um, it's been a real pleasure working with you. We haven't agreed on everything, but uh, that's that's the business that we're in, is to express our views. But what I really personally appreciate about both of you is, is that we've been able to have those conversations, and uh, at, the end of the, at the end of the conversation, I get the big, smil big smile from uh, Council Member Knudsen, and uh, I always get a appreciative uh, compliment uh, from Council Member Kirshner about uh, the work that I'm doing, and uh, it's reciprocal at that particular time. And uh, both of you are class act, and I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Uh, please stop on in and say hi whenever you have the opportunity. I'd appreciate that, and I fully expect that we'll see you, that I'll have the opportunity to see you in the community. But uh, good job and well done. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jack. That was very nice. So I'll wrap up tonight by thanking each of you, um, council members, that have gotten the opportunity to work with. 
Um, I've actually had a blast uh, working with you and representing the public. And, um, you know, this job has, um, has been rigorous and tiring and frustrating, but it's also been one that's been one of the most satisfying things I've done in my life. I have found um, great wisdom in our community and um, a lot of support out there for what all of us want Whatcom County to be. And I just want to um, thank all of you and, and thank you and some of the audience members that are here every single meeting. And um, thanks for hanging in there with us. Um, you know, I've, I've had to let the media and others define me for five years, and I've been called everything you can almost imagine. And I thought tonight I'd just take a moment to define myself, and I feel a little freeing to do that. And so I'm going to start out by just saying that I'm a Christian woman. That's who I am, for first and foremost. And after that, I'm a wife and a mother to three. And after I'm done with the council, I'm going to go back and my life is going to be full because it's always been full. And I am going to look back on this with very fond memories. And you might see me pop in here once in a while if there's an issue that I'm interested in. Or you might see my application come through on a, a board or a committee. Um, I'm going to stay involved in our community because this experience has taught me how wonderful our community is. And how much it needs concerned citizens that are willing to put the time in. So I'll be around. I want to say that um, the, there, the two council member elects are in our audience. I know the TV might not be able to see them, but council member uh, elect uh, Buchanan is here, as well as council member elect Brown. They're going to take um, the place of council member Knudsen and I in January. And they're going to be bestowed with a great responsibility, and I have every confidence that they're going to be able to step up and do the job and do it well. And, um, you know, I'm appreciative of our democratic process, and I think the turnover will be um, smooth. And um, I wish you both my very best in your um, service to our county. Um, and then my final words tonight are going to be that whoever takes over the chair chairmanship, I will sell you my book of tips on how to manage Council Member Brenner <laughs> for a low, low cost. Oh, I've loved working with Council Member Brenner. Yeah. Um, and, and again, Merry Christmas and have a wonderful Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we, with that, we'll be adjourned.